Like the food? Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Grab some more. <laughs> you got a quite a crowd already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You got a big response. This is great. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming, actually. So good. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. So my name is Michelle Muskin. I'm the state representative right here in the Chamber area, and I live in Chamber. And I was thrilled about this event. And actually, I have to tell you, I was invited by numerous friends from the mosque to make sure that I knew it was here today. Um, I am so impressed with my fellow citizens that came out to participate. I think a lot of questions were answered. I think a lot of doubts were put to rest. A lot of good food was eaten. I think this is an event that should be done multiple times a year, if not every year. And I, again, I'm really glad that we had the opportunity to come together as a community and, and share what makes us different. And I certainly think that we need to go out and visit everyone else's religious institutions also. Um, but thank you again for sharing this with me today. Thank you. My name is Amy Florian. I live in Hoffman Estates. We saw about this event in the Daily Herald and knew that we had to come. We were very upset by the results of the election. We stand with our Muslim brothers and sisters, with all those, all, all faiths, all ethnicities, with immigrants and refugees. And we just wanted to make our, our support and our solidarity known. It was really gratifying to come here to see the overwhelming support of so many people from across this part of the country, this region. I am hopeful, again, that we are going to get through this and be a better world. Hi, I'm Brianne Cooper. I am uh, from Schaumburg and I'm an assistant principal in District 54. And I heard about this event through an email and a family in our school that invited us. Um, this experience today was so amazing, so eye opening. A lot of questions were answered. It was very emotional to see everybody um, together. And uh, um, it was a very great event. Thank you for having us. I'm Ken Florian from Hoffman Estates. I live about 15 minutes from the mosque. I heard about the event in the, uh, the Daily Herald earlier in the week and registered right away, uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. It's the first time I've been in a mosque. Uh, I consider myself a, a multi-faith person. I'm Roman Catholic by, uh, by birth and by practice. I, was, I got chills today being here. It was powerful. I met people I hope I'll see again soon around town. And, in the grocery store or whatever, and I was pleased to be part of, of this type of thing. Pleased to, pleased to stand with my Muslim brothers and sisters in, in faith. My name is Anthony Patricelli. I'm from Elk Grove Village, Illinois. I found out about this event from my friend on Facebook who shared a link. And I was surprised to see not too many comments or likes on it. So I took him up in his interest to come here and learn about the faith. I have a few friends who practice the religion, and it was nice seeing firsthand for once to come into a mosque and hearing the message right from, if you will, the horse's mouth or verbatim. It was an eye opening experience for me, and I think this is a very important event not only for me but for the rest of the community as we have troubling times for some people and reestablish peace and uh, prosperity for all. You know, this is America. Everyone deserves an equal chance. And a lot of people, I think, have a lot of violent uh, reactions out of fear. And events like this put that fear at bay because it's education and using our autonomy to learn the religion and our fellow neighbors. Ultimately, this is a great experience and I want to 
to tell my friends about it. I'm going to reshare the link on Facebook and talk to my family as well about this, uh, this experience. Um, so after going to this mosque, I realized that the Arabic religion is very similar to Christianity in a way, and they show a lot of dedication to what they believe in. And um, I also really enjoyed the food. It was also very good. Okay. What's your name? Um, Lauren. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm from Schaumburg, and I live about five houses up from the mosque, so that's how I knew about the event. And it was a great experience to see the community come together to learn more about Islam and our neighbors so that we can represent each other fairly. Hi, my name is Candace, and today I'm here at the Masjid in Schamburg, Illinois, out, uh, outside of Chicago. Um, visiting for the first time Schamburg's Masjid, um, Al Huda, to learn about Islam and uh, meet our Muslim neighbors here in the community. Um, I am affiliated with the Muslim community, so I learned about this from other Muslims in the community. And I came out today to show support. There was around 200 or more people who came today, which was nice, who were not Muslim, to meet their Muslim neighbors. And um, I think it, it's been a really wonderful testimony to um, the current political conditions and to see how many wonderful people are interested in learning about Islam and supporting their Muslim neighbors, uh, as I am here doing today as well. Yeah. Okay, my name is Mike Roach. I'm from Bloomingdale. Uh, I found out about this event from my wife, who found out about it, I'm not sure where, on Facebook. On Facebook. <laughs> and um, I, I think, especially in these days following the election, I was very happy to be a part of something that's inclusive when there's so much talk about exclusion in this country. Um, I'm as a white male, I feel it's my duty to reach out to pretty much everyone because I've had it easy here and everybody else pretty much has it harder than me. So I think it's important for me to be somebody who reaches out for sure. And i um, just happy to meet more of our neighbors and understand more about other people because I think it helps bring all of us together. My name is Jean Ray. I live in Schaumburg and I read about this event in the uh, Daily Herald newspaper. And I came here to uh, just, in a sense, support, understand more, and uh, just uh, be more enlightened about your Muslims and who they are and what their differences are. Uh, hi, my name is Vicki Karlovsky. I live in Palatine, Illinois, and um, my husband and I heard about this event in the newspaper. It was in the Daily Herald, and as soon as I saw it, I thought that we should we should come and attend because I think um, right now the climate is such it's it's very depressing. I feel like we're all very sort of separated and us versus them, and um, I wanted to show that that. I wanted to show that we could come together as a community, but I was also very inspired to see the huge crowd that came today and all the people and all the love and the acceptance in the room. And um, it was really moving for me and has given me hope for moving forward. So thank you so much for having us out today. We, we really appreciate it.